today we, i am going to uh, give a demonstration how to model uh, porous medium using ansip fluent porous medium has lot of application uh, in industry uh, also in real life like sponge but how to model using ansip fluent that we want to uh, discuss in this lecture here i showed a porous medium here and uh, with a uh, a rectangle I put and uh, on the left side I have presented a porous medium uh, which consists of the uh, solid uh, region and some fluid region. White region is a fluid medium and uh, uh, black color uh, uh, the, the black color uh, which presents the uh, solid region. Uh, each porous medium has uh, some percentage uh, of the fluid and some percentage by solid by volume and fluid uh, passes through the, uh, the fluid medium uh, and, and there is a, a pressure drop due to change in uh, cross section area of, po uh, of porosity uh, and, and that pressure drop uh, we have to give in uh, CFD solar that pressure drop due to uh, viscosity it can be due to thickness and that we are going to model uh, using access plane how to model yes see uh, a momentum equation for porous medium uh, can be uh, applied for the single phase or multi-phase flow uh, for this case, uh, porous medium uh, model uh, the single phase or multi phase flow based on the superficial velocity porous formulation. Porous media is modeled by the addition of a momentum source term to the standard fluid flow equation. Uh, that, this statement uh, underlines. Uh, uh, momentum source uh, is given in governing equation that source term has a two part first is the uh, uh, due to viscous and second part is due to uh, inertia uh, there are two uh, 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 factors are responsible uh, to cause pressure drop and pressure drop uh, uh, causes the momentum momentum means it uh, in case is velocity and that we have to uh, see how to pressure drop is calculated and the first time pressure drop is due to the uh, viscosity and porosity and second part is pressure drop due to the uh, dynamic pressure half of rho v square and c2 is constant that depend upon the uh, uh, direction and uh, that can be uh, calculated by comparing the pressure drop with respect to experimental data that we are going to model. Hence, fluid allows source term to be modeled uh, based on the power law of velocity magnitude. If you know the pressure loss in terms of the uh, velocity magnitude, then we can directly uh, uh, define in CFD solver. If we don't have, then we have to calculate explicitly both term, viscous term and inertia term. And uh, the pressure drop due to viscosity uh, is calculated such a way that pressure drop is typically proportional to the velocity. And the constant uh, is a ratio of viscosity to the permeability of porous medium. By integrating this equation, we can find out pressure drop in each direction, x, y, z direction. And, uh, uh, in, in each equation, uh, there is a multiplication of the thickness. That uh, If we know the thickness in x, y, z direction, we can find out the pressure drop due to the uh, due to viscosity. Uh, second, uh, term is called as initial loss 
in uh, source term of momentum if you want to model a uh, perpendicular plate or two bank and uh, velocity uh, inlet to the uh, two bank or perpendicular plate is very high we can neglect the viscous term and uh, uh, inertial loss uh, become significant for such a case uh, pressure drop uh, is a uh, proportional to the dynamic pressure half of rho multiply product of velocity j is a superficial velocity and v is a magnitude by integrating this equation uh, in x direction y direction and z direction we can find out the pressure drop due to inertia here uh, we are going to solve one problem for flow over the heated porous block porosity is equal to fluid volume divided by total volume here uh, fluid flow over the three porous heated block which are cylindrical in shape uh, we know diameter we know length we know direction and uh, we know the uh, porosity porosity is equal to 75% that means 75% of porous medium is occupied by the fluid and rest of 25% volume is occupied by solid that, that means porosity of medium is equal to 75% uh, then how to model uh, using acid plane i move to the acid uh, uh, platform here is a, a block is there this is a uh, these are three uh, porous block and i show the uh, this is the inlet and this is the outlet and uh, this is the bottom one i want to model a three block as a porous medium and then start uh, with uh, basic solar setting Uh, in general, have to give uh, a gravitational force. If uh, this uh, this force is important, I have given minus 9.81. I am uh, selecting pressure-based solver. The next uh, energy equation. In model, I am uh, selecting energy equation. And in turbulence, I am selecting SST K uh, turbulence model. K mega HST model. You have to click here. Here, uh, low rate number correction. I am not uh, accounting. Production limiter you can consider. Then okay. Uh, then go to the cell zone for the heater. These are these are three heater. I am modeling as a porous medium. Go to the porous medium. Then uh, give direction x, y, z. Define the viscous direction minus two. As per calculation, define the uh, inertial direction in z direction. Then give the power law coefficient. If it is uh, there, you can give. Uh, you can give the porosity as 0.75. And uh, next for thermal model, I am considering equilibrium. There is the equilibrium of the a uh, heat transfer from solid to fluid or fluid to solid then apply then go to boundary condition uh, this left uh, left is inlet i am giving velocity 2 meter per second turbulence visc uh, intensity and viscosity i am giving low viscosity is as a 5 temperature i am giving as a 300 Uh, then uh, here outlet I am giving here as a pressure outlet. Uh, then uh, for the porous medium, uh, this I can also define as a heat source as a thousand. Apply. Uh, then uh, initialize and then calculate. Uh, 
uh, if uh, simulation is uh, completed uh, then we can see uh, then we can see the velocity in middle plane uh, because I have to give uh, auto range uh, 0 to 10 that means uh, there is uh, some velocity that we can define and uh, you can draw mesh as a porous block uh, that means uh, fluid is moving over the, this medium then you can also define the temperature This is the temperature. Uh, we can also present uh, streamline. These are streamline which are flowing over the uh, uh, por uh, porous block. And these are the porous medium and fluid is moving over the porous medium. Uh, fluid is moving over the porous medium. Uh, we can see. Uh, there are very less stream, uh, stream line passing through the fluid medium which depend on porosity and these are average por we are defined average porosity throughout the medium we cannot uh, define uh, explicit, uh, explicitly as a domain if you want to define explicitly you have to split domain into the different part as per the uh, level of porosity we have, that may take more time for the simulation Thank you for this attending lecture. Next time, we, I can come up with new topic. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe this lecture. And uh, this, uh, these le lectures are very important for the academic and industry point of view. And uh, this visit the website uh, to get more information on the this uh, on CFD and flow analysis.